if uh, former Vice President Joe Biden secures the presidency, how will that impact businesses and people earning a living here in Fort Wayne and across Indiana? We sent Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Jeff Newmeyer to get some different perspectives. In the late hours of Tuesday and into early Wednesday morning, the momentum seemed to be on the side of President Trump, but in the days since, the counting of mail-in ballots in key battleground states has shifted that momentum and tilted the advantage to former Vice President Joe Biden. Roger Hadley has been farming ground for decades in eastern Allen County near Woodburn. He liked that President Donald Trump got rid of some regulations that he thinks negatively impacted the farming industry. And he was in favor of President Trump's uh, tough trade policies directed toward China, which he believes were good for farmers. A transition to President Biden scares him a little. I'm just fearful we're going to go backwards. We're going to set still. Uh, under the Obama administration, as farmers were hurting on different uh, uh, issues that happened with production, we got no help. Under the Trump administration, we got help. Hadley is concerned that Biden's dealings with farmers will drive up costs and drive up food prices for consumers overall. Quentin Dixie is the interim head of the Fort Wayne Urban League, an organization that focuses on, among other things, promoting the interests of minority-owned businesses in the community. Dixie cares about that cause, but as much as anything, he looks forward to a change in leadership in the White House. He believes a new approach can not only improve the economy, but also settle some of the divisiveness in society that he thinks has gone too far. Biden will hopefully change the tone of the conversation. I think the conversations we're having around race and equity, uh, jobs and inclusion, all those things are important. But I think the tone of the conversation needs to change, not the conversation itself. Jerry Watson says the Lewis Street Grill, which he helps run, has thrived during the pandemic, but he's counting on a Biden presidency to help out other minority business owners who've not fared so well. Meanwhile, business owner Bill Bean, a big Republican Party donor, is hoping Democrats don't also gain control of the U.S. Senate, which in his mind would increase the chances of rolling back the Trump tax cuts, something he feels would uh, harm the economy as a whole. From downtown Fort Wayne, I'm Jeff Newmeyer reporting.